Hello everyone, it's Sandra, and today we're gonna to talk about some of my current favorite products. I don't think I've done a dedicated favorites video in the last couple of months, and this is not my favorites of the year video. That one is still coming, and I'm still planning on filming it with my friend Dina. We're trying to figure out how to do it remotely this year, since obviously we can't be physically together to film. So stay tuned for that. Hopefully we'll be able to get that done by the end of the year. But this video is just going to be more seasonally appropriate products that I've been into from the last couple of months and I'm excited to share them with you. Starting off with skincare-ish related products. If you watched my last vlog, in the skincare segment. I briefly touched upon this, but I thought I would mention it again just in case you don't watch my vlogs. I've been really into mixing in just a tiny little bit of the Indeed Labs Nano Bronze into my sunscreen. I just feel like it just, A, it takes away the ghostly tint of my mineral sunscreen, and B, it just creates a beautiful glow. Like today, I even mix it in with my chemical sunscreen. I just find it gives me just a little bit more of, um, of a nice tint and it blends in beautifully. Sometimes I mix it in with just a, my hydrating primer or my moisturizer. I just, I've just been loving it. This is very much an alternative to something like the Drunk Elephant Deep Bronzy, but it's it at a much more palatable price point and I really, really love it. So that's kind of been my go-to base skincare uh, combination and then the next thing is a product that I've been using on and off for the last three years and I just keep going back to this because out of all the lash growth treatments that I've tried this is the one that has produced the best results for me and this is the new lash it's a lash growth serum unfortunately it's also the most expensive one figures so that it's the one my eyelashes uh, likes the best, but it just produces the best results and I've started using it again because I felt like my, my lashes were just, they're average at best and I feel like they could use a little bit of a boost. So I decided to repurchase this. This is something that I always, always get on sale because it is quite pricey. Uh, sometimes it goes on sale in the Nordstrom anniversary sale. Sometimes it goes on sale on derm store it's the best i've tried the grande lash i've tried rapid lash it takes about 30 days of consistent use to start seeing results and then another kind of maintenance product it's not so much this particular product it's just getting into the habit of putting cuticle oil on my nails every single night before i go to bed i just put it on my nightstand to remind myself and it has helped so much because my cuticles get insanely, insanely dry this time of year. And especially now, you know, washing and sanitizing my hands multiple times throughout the day, my cuticles just get destroyed. And getting into the habit of putting cuticle oil on my nails every single night has made such a huge difference in the health and the appearance of my cuticles. I'm really happy with, with my nail beds. Everything looks really nice. And I'm just using the one by a brand called London Town. It's the Cure Nourishing Cuticle Oil, but like I said, the brand of the cuticle oil doesn't really matter. It's just being consistent with it. My friend Shelby actually just uses coconut oil every single day and she has, you know, beautiful cuticles and it's such a great habit to get into, especially this time of year. If you're not much into oils, if you find it a bit too cumbersome to have oil on your fingers, there are alternatives. There are cuticle serums. There's one by Sally Hansen, that's quite good. There's one by Olive and June. Those, while not as nourishing as a cuticle oil, again, if you get into the habit of using them every single day, it's going to be better than using nothing. So if you don't like cuticle oils, you might want to try a cuticle serum, but just getting into the habit of having something on the cuticles every single night has made a huge, huge difference. So just thought I would give that a shout out. Then the last skincare-ish product is the Maylandstrom Honey Mud. This, oh, I'm so happy this is back. It's just a sensory delight. I mean, it does re deliver results. It leaves my skin feeling really, really smooth and soft and supple. It smells like cocoa and honey. It's such a treat. I'm already halfway through it. I use this about once a week. I love to use this when I'm taking a bath. It's just, it's the most indulgent experience. I just put this on. I get into the bath on like a Sunday evening. I light a candle. I read a book and it's just, it's the, it's the best. So I really, really love this mask. It's just, it's just been such a 
delicious sensory experience and it makes me happy every single time I use this. Another sensory treat over the last couple of months has been this fragrance. I just cannot stop wearing it. Sometimes I spray it on before I go to bed because that's how much I love it. And it's Tom Ford Noir de Noir. It's just delicious. It's a, it's a very sweet fragrance. It's a chocolate, rose, patchouli, um, smells a bit like tobacco and honey as well. It's a very sweet rose fragrance. There's some saffron in there. It is just delicious. I could I could lick this. It, it just it just smells so sweet, but it just never gets gross on me. Um, if you're not into sweet fragrances, I usually am not actually. I'm not usually a fan of gourmand fragrances. They don't usually smell good on me, but this one for some reason does. If sweeter fragrances are not your thing, I did do a video outlining more seasonally appropriate scents that I really love and I kind of covered all the bases. So I've got some woodsy, I've got some fresh, um, I've got some more subtle vanilla, some more subtle florals in there. So do check that out if you want more fragrance content from me. So I will link that video below, but this has been my top most frequently used fragrance from the last couple of months. Then in terms of makeup, I do have to give a special shout out to my old faithful, the Laura Mercier Secret Camouflage. This is just the best concealer for me for when I have blemishes. And as you can see, it's, it's well loved. I usually go through one of these every year, depending on sometimes year and a half, depending on the status of my skin, but I use this in the shade SC3, and I really love the longevity of it. I find that this actually sticks to the blemish and provides coverage for a lot longer than other concealers that I've tried, so anytime I have active breakouts that I'm trying to cover up, this is my go-to. Then for lips, my most worn lip combination has been the one I'm wearing right now, the Giorgio Armani Smooth Silk Lip Pencil in shade number 12. This is one of my favorite lip liners of all time, and it's the lip liner that I go to when I just want something that matches the natural color of my lips perfectly. I really like this shade. It just kind of helps me even out the shape of my lips, and then for just a nice, neutral smoky rose lip my clarins instant light lip perfector intense in the shade oops i just keep dropping things today in the shade smoky rose intense smoky rose has been a favorite i'm wearing it today i've mentioned it i think in the last two videos that i filmed so you know i love it just thought i would give it another shout out that's the combination i'm wearing today and then an honorable mention is this new lipstick from sicily they have this formula i mean this formula is permanent but they come out with new colors every holiday season and this is the le fito rouge formula and this is shade number 15 it's called beige manhattan and it is so beautiful i actually did a series of Instagram stories swatching it and kind of comparing it to other lipsticks in the same color family that I own, but this is less pink than the combination that I'm wearing today, and obviously it's more of a traditional satin lipstick formula, but it's so, so incredibly buttery. It literally feels like butter on the lips. It's very, very rich, like it feels really moisturizing on the lips while at the same time being really thin. It feels like I'm wearing nothing, but it's just adds a little bit of moisture and it's incredibly comfortable. It's a beautiful color. It fades nicely as well. I've worn this under a mask and it hasn't gotten all over the place. It's just a beautiful, beautiful. It's one of the best luxury lipstick formulas that I have ever tried. I think it's better than the Tom Ford lipstick formula in my opinion. It smells like nothing, which in my opinion, that's the best. I, I don't, I know that it's, it's a nice experience to open up a luxury lipstick and have it smell like something, but what if you don't like the smell of roses? What if you don't like the smell of papaya or vanilla? And I think that having something that truly, truly smells like nothing, like it doesn't even smell, you know, sometimes a lipstick doesn't have added fragrance, but you can still kind of smell the ingredients. This just smells, like nothing, which to me is the best type of scent because that way everybody can enjoy it. Then I have two eyeshadow favorites and over the last couple of months, I've just been really 
getting back into using my Pat McGrath palettes. Today I'm actually wearing the one that I bought this year. It's the Divine Rose palette and I, I adore this so much. And then I also wore Mothership 5 a lot. This is the one called Bronze Seduction. This is my most used and I think if I had to choose just one I would go with this. But if you like pink and purple and just you want to play around a little bit, this is a beautiful, beautiful palette as well. Gotta love these 4.30 p.m. sunsets. I feel like now I'm in a race to finish this video before the sun completely sets. So one more beauty favorite. This is the Orabe Cote d'Azur Hair Refresher. And this is essentially sold as a hair perfume. So, you know, if you don't want to use a texturizing spray or a hair spray or a dry shampoo, but you just want that beautiful, beautiful smell of Orabe in your hair, this is a product that will take you there. But one of the things that I love about it is that it also cuts static. And this time of year, you know, the air is really dry and I'm always in a sweater and sometimes, you know, that can cause havoc on the hair and static is, is a real problem and this cuts static. So not only will this make your hair smell really luxurious and delightful without adding bulk, it will also cut static. Now I have fine thin hair and it works for me. I unfortunately can't speak to other hair types, but I love this and I've been using it every time I've worn a sweater and I've, I've had static problems. So it just says here, our signature fragrance refreshes hair, neutralizes odors and cuts static. So absolutely perfect. And other fragrancy things that I've enjoyed. And these are the Aroma Tech oils. These are essential oil blends that I use in my diffuser. You can put these in any diffuser um, that uses essential oils. And these are the three scents that I am very much enjoying. The scent Santal is an identical replica of Lilabo. Is it Elon Musk like launching another rocket ship? Santal, which is an identical replica of the Lilabo Santal 33 scent. It smells really good. My personal favorite, which is called Noir. This is a beautiful balance between a clean scent, slightly sweet scent, and a woodsy scent. It's just the perfect home fragrance for me. It, it has it all, it has it all. So if you want, if you like a little bit of sweet, a little bit of clean, a little bit of woodsy, do this scent. This is apparently what they use to scent the um, edition hotels. So if you've ever been into an edition hotel and were mesmerized by the scent in the lobby, get yourself some of this. This smells so, so good. And then right now for Christmas time, I've really been enjoying the winter pine scent as well. It just smells, smells like, like freshly chopped Christmas trees. And it is so, so jolly. <laughs> it's just so, so delightful. So I love this. If essential oils are not your thing, if you don't like to use a diffuser, you're more of a candle kind of person. I love candles too, and I thought I would share with you the two candles that I'm really, really loving this season. The first is Diptyque Bay, which is, I think it's their most popular scent, and for a good reason. I am just, I'm obsessed with this. And this is a slightly larger candle. I go through one of these a year. This is a scent that I burn year round, but especially in the fall and winter. It's like, it's a smoky, delicious, woodsy berry scent. It's so, so beautiful. I think these make great gifts. You can get, you know, they have a different sizes. You can get the standard size, you can get the votive. And my personal favorite brand of candles to gift is Diptyque because I just think they do, there's just something about their presentation and the way that they look that's just so special. Yes, they are very, very expensive, but if you really want to treat someone, um, and if, if that someone is a candle lover, I don't think you can, you can go wrong with, with Diptyque. I always buy one for my mom for Christmas every year. And this scent is my favorite scent that they make. I do like a lot of their other ones, but if I had to choose just one, I would pick this. This is the classic. My other holiday candle favorite, I don't have it here physically to share with you because I actually used mine up a couple weeks ago and I didn't think to keep the vessel, but I am planning on going to buy another one. I have gone through lots of these over the years and it's one of my favorite seasonal scents from Nest. Nest is my favorite candle brand just because I think that in terms of the quality of their scents, 
the intensity of the throw. It's one of the few candle brands that can truly, truly, truly scent the entire house. And I also really like their price point. It's a lot more manageable than something that like Diptyque and they just, they smell evenly. I never have any issues with them tunneling or, or burning dirty or anything like that. My only bone to pick with Nest is that they discontinue all my favorite fragrances. Wasabi Pear and uh, Cashmere Suede were my favorite, favorite smells from Nest and they have discontinued both of those, so. My current favorites are Velvet Pear, which is a nice um, fall fragrance, and then Hearth, which is a holiday fragrance that's part of their holiday con collection that they release every single year. So it's not available to purchase year round, but every time in the holiday season, they do bring back Hearth. And if you like Faux de Bois by Diptyque, you will like Hearth. It's very much a hanging out by the fireplace type of fragrance, but it's a little bit more rich and boo boozy than um, than the Diptyque Faux de Bois. It doesn't just smell like burning wood. It also has like, it's almost like a, a touch of bourbon to it. It's a very complex, rich, very, very um, indulgent candle. And you know, you can always buy a little one, like the little votive to try out the scent before committing to buying the full size. And then the last, thing, the last favorite I wanted to mention, I am wearing today, it's not the sweater, it's actually my bra. I'm not going to show you my bra, it's not that type of channel. I will put a picture of it up on the screen so you can have a visual reference, but it's the Everybody Scoop Neck Bralette by Skims. I have been utterly, utterly, utterly obsessed with these bralettes. They are so, so comfortable. Are they the most flattering thing to wear underneath a tight shirt? No, because you do just get like the uniboob type of look. Um, it's just like a scoop neck bralette for just wearing something that gives me a little bit of support, but is still super, super comfortable to wear around the house because you know, this year I haven't really gone anywhere. The scoop neck bralette by Skims has been a favorite. It has been my most worn bra. I actually have it in three different colors now and I absolutely love it. I wear the size medium, and for bra size reference, I'm usually a 32D. It's my favorite thing to wear around the house, and obviously if I'm just wearing like a chunky sweater on top or a sweatshirt, then I can, I can wear it out as well. And Skims did widen their distribution a bit this year. I know now they're on Essence, um, Essence is a, a Canadian luxury retailer. They have a Magneta Porter. Not everything that I've tried from the brand has been a hit, but the bralette is a two thumbs up from me. And that concludes today's video. Thank you so much for hanging out with me and watching, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.